When we imagine carnivorous creatures, we often picture big fangs and strong claws. However, carnivorous plants are quite different. While their name suggests they are meat eaters, most of them dine on insects. But what kind of carnivorous plants are there? How do they digest their prey? Can you have them at home? Let's get started. Carnivorous plants are categorized into three main types based on how they capture their prey. Snap trapping plants. These are the most widely recognized carnivorous plants. They emit nectar to attract their prey. When an insect or creature touches the inside of their leaves, the leaves rapidly snap shut, trapping the prey. The leaves close only when the prey makes contact at least twice to avoid mistakenly reacting to a drop of water, for example. Adhesive trapping plants. These plants release nectar to attract insects or other prey. When the prey reaches the plant, they become entangled in the sticky substance produced by the plant. Pitfall trapping plants. These plants have leaves shaped like pitchers that fill with water due to dew or rainfall. When an animal is attracted by the nectar and approaches, it can fall into the water-filled leaves, becoming trapped and potentially drowning. How do carnivorous plants digest their prey? Carnivorous plants employ enzymes to digest their prey. Enzymes are a type of protein that speed up and regulate chemical reactions. When the plant captures its prey, it begins producing these enzymes, which break down and digest the animal. Meanwhile, other glands in the plant start working to absorb the necessary nutrients. In the case of pitcher-shaped plants, they have not only water, but also many bacteria and microorganisms that aid in decomposing the captured animals. This initial decomposition is followed by the enzymes completing the final digestion. What's truly fascinating is that these plants can take over two weeks to fully digest an insect. This is quite remarkable considering that humans typically take just about two days to digest their food. Where do carnivorous plants live? Carnivorous plants primarily thrive in swampy areas, especially those with low nitrogen levels and acidic soil. But why do they prefer such poor soil? Well, in the past, these plants couldn't obtain enough nutrients from the ground, so they evolved the unique ability to hunt, a rare trait among plants. They are entirely wild, but with the right conditions, you can cultivate them at home. How to grow them at home and how to care for them. If you want to grow them at home, the first step is knowing the type of species you're growing. Some like cold, while others prefer warmth. Next, use low nutrient soil with moss and sand as a base. Then, place it in a suitable plastic pot indoors with enough humidity and sunlight. Generally, the plant can feed itself, but if there aren't enough insects for it to hunt, you might need to provide food. Typically, one prey item sustains it about two weeks, but this can vary by species, so it's best to research its specific needs before getting one. Fun facts about carnivorous plants. There are over 700 species of carnivorous plants. Some can catch animals larger than insects, such as rats or lizards. Despite lacking muscles, they move by changing the water pressure in their leaf cell walls, causing them to close. The largest carnivorous plant, Nepenthes raja, can reach up to 40 centimeters in size, but sadly, it's currently endangered. 
Charles Darwin was the first to study this incredible plant species and introduce them to the world. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to share your thoughts in the comments and give us a thumbs up if you found this video informative. Until next time.